just to do that bit. Yes, yeah, so anyway, part three. So we're gonna do like a mock test. Yep. It's your first mock test that you've yeah. done. So you've done a lesson plan, which we'll go through in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, on the day of your test, you'll get to the test centre with your people. Um, they would have normally driven there if, that, if they're at that stage. Um, get them to reverse into their spot. Yeah. So that when you start your test, you're nice, easy, go out. Yeah. You don't want to get into a manoeuvre to start the test. So, um, yeah, the examiner, you know, will call your name like for normal test and you'll He'll ask you some questions. He'll ask you about your pupil, what yeah. pupil you've got, what stage they're at, what ability they've got, so whether they're beginner, you know, to full license holder, you just sort of say where they're at. Okay. Um, he'll, he'll ask you what subject you've got, what lesson theme that you've planned for today's lesson. Yeah. So you can explain that. Um, and I want to know a little bit about your pupil, what you've been working on recently, what are the known issues, really. Which well, is kind of like the front page of your plan, right. sort of what what you've planned, why you've planned it. Yeah. Um, so there's a need for it. So this lesson is needed by the pupil. It's not just something you fancy doing. It's like what is the next logical step for your pupil. So okay. well. So when you obviously come to the real thing, you'll have a better idea of that when you've identified a pupil and you know what stage you're at with them to know what would be the best thing to do your part three because it's yeah. got to be it's got to be for them client centered all that um so then yeah here come out to the car here say hi to your pupil mm -hmm. um and just explain to them that he's not there to watch them and that they should relax which they might be a bit nervous so in preparation for your mock test it might be an idea of the person that you're using i sit in and observe you do a lesson with them so they kind of get a bit used to yeah. having someone in yeah um that might be good, so you can just get them used to it, kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so he'll sit in behind the people so we can see you. Um, and he'll, he'll just sort of briefly say, yeah, whenever you're ready to start, start looking for a client centered lesson and have us back here an hour from now. So I'll give you a time and say, get us back here by so and so. Um, all, all done and dusted, debrief done. Yeah, so in one hour. So yeah, so that's kind of the, the challenge. Um, you've done a plan, which mm -hmm. is to fit in around an hour um, on roads around here. So yeah, let's just, if we just, but this is basically what you do with the examiner. So yeah, so what, what pupil do you want me to play basically? Who will I be today? <laughs> <laughs> um, so with the last few lessons we've been doing uh, sort of crossroads, T-junctions, um, fairly quiet areas, um, so now we're introducing sort of more busier situations. Okay. Um, so really I've done work. crossroads T junctions. Yes. Yeah. So I know about Quite, MSPSL. Yeah, know about MSPSL. Do I um, know about Larder? I was going to sort of bring that in today. Um, okay. Well, saying that though, that no, no, I suppose you would do, wouldn't you? Because you would have bought that info. I really should yeah, know yeah, about yeah. it at this point. Yeah. But if you ask well, we, me, I, just, I need to know, then, yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I should know about all the all the basic stuff. I should know yeah. about my D SM, my POMs. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because um, that they're good foundations to have on your people. So, you know, you want a, a people that. Well, that you've you've trained from start really. Like if I was going into part three, I'd want a people that I've had from day one, so that you know everything's done my way. They've got like real solid foundations, good systems in them, so they you, they're like well drilled. You yeah. know, like Cockbridge or they, they're not going to start the engine without checking handbrake neutral. It's like that's going to be habit. Yeah, they're going to yeah. be one of my pupils. So that examiner's observing that, thinking, "Oh, yeah, he's got them, yeah, well drilled." Okay. So if you like, I can be a well-drilled pupil, yeah, for you, one that you've trained from day yeah. one. So I'll be like, you know, like your little star pupil. I like the sound of that. Um, <laughs> and and it's that attention to detail that really gets you off to a good, yeah, yeah. You because know, the examiner's thinking, well, because you'd say that, you'd say to the examiner. Yes, my people, you know, 
there's the their training log from day one. You know, I've had X amount of hours. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I picked them up from their first driving us. Yeah. So when he sees this real good discipline of of, of system and how things are done, he'll be thinking, well, that was you who got him to that point. Yeah. So already he knows they're like, yeah, you know, one of your pupils. So it's a good, good, good first impression, you know. Yeah. So um, so yeah, so that'll be that. So yeah, so you have this discuss your plan. So you you want me to this be a pupil who's done junctions, know about MSPSL, yeah, about Larder, yeah, and I've done T junctions crossroads, yeah. And today, what is our subject? What are we looking at today? So we are going to look at roundabouts today. And is that a new topic? That will be today, yeah. Okay, right, yeah. So that'll be a new topic. Um, Have I had a go at any roundabouts? Well, I was, I was thinking about this, because obviously to get out to where I was going to do the brief, there is the mini roundabout we need to turn right on. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing, uh, how would you deal with with that because obviously driving from place to place that is very much you, you can't yeah if you if get you, around it you know, if you had a pupil that lived around here yeah i probably would have done yeah that. on the driving around um, yeah. and on the route to it i mean I, I would just want to make sure they can do everything that's on the way if yeah you know so it's quite likely that I've had, you know, if it's, you tell me, if, if I've done yeah. it, then I'll be like, oh no, I've done this yeah. before, you know, I know, I know what to do here. Yeah. I can't drive over the top of that yeah. dot, of, you've told me to go around here, and, and, and things like that. So the basics of it. Yeah. But, and That's, then your yeah. sort of main theme, if, well, if it's to be roundabouts, we're just get, because I don't know the plan yet. I'm just <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not. Um, so yeah, okay, so um, that would be, very feasible that I would have done that. Yeah. You know, because you're in control of that. That's it, yeah. If, let's say you were taking me for test next week and you were going to take me to wherever you're going to go. Yeah. And you're thinking, well, I, I want to make sure I can do that. Well, take me on it the week before. Yeah, so I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. make sure I've done it. So I say, oh, yeah, and I've done this before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got knowledge of that. That's kind of what I was thinking. Or, or I could, if, if we was going to go down the route, if they hadn't done a mini roundabout, I suppose that. We, we could sort of get away with the, the front, the, the sitting here talking about the introduction. There is a mini roundabout on the way to where we're going to talk about roundabouts. Yeah. And you know, sort of treat yeah. that like a junction. Yeah, you and, could bring it up, you could ask me about yeah. that and how I'm going to deal with it. And if I've done it before, it's like yeah. a recap, isn't yeah. it, on, on it? Yeah. Rather than, oh, here's a picture of a mini roundabout. Like, oh, yeah, we did that last week. Yeah. Done that. Yeah, we went right, didn't we? Or what? I don't know what, yeah, how yeah. it's going to okay. go. But yeah. yeah, so because I'm just trying to get into my character to know what I've kind of done so I can at least play along with what's in your mind of yeah. what your people's, you know, because you would know your people, wouldn't you? And I know yeah. it's hard in role play because we haven't no. had all these memories. If we had 20 hours of lessons, you'd have a lot of memories to recall on, on things I've done. Whereas, of course, we're making it up. Yeah. So it's mm. a little bit harder. So um, if in the role, in the when you're in test, if you say to me, oh no, you've, you've done that, I'll be like, oh no, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, remember, remember I've done that. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. You know, so I'll play along. Yeah. So um, I'm not trying to, so no, I ain't done that. Yeah. Well, wait a minute, I won't do that to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so roundabouts. Yeah. You've got a plan, you've got a route yep. planned for us. Yep. Okay. And so, so why, so why just, because I know you've written it there, just so why this lesson for this pupil? What, what's sort of the rationale for it? Um, so the pupil's progressed and well and uh, is confident with dealing with crossroads, T-junctions, um, dealing well sort of open junctions as well. So we're not stopping every time, obviously, you know, we're, we're progressing as well so now sort of stepping that up and bringing that onto a roundabout and dealing with obviously the traffic coming around and being a bit more observant as well and really bringing those observations yeah to, um to deal with a roundabout um just make it a bit more challenging i suppose really as well so that's the next logical step got it you've got visual aids you're going to be giving me a brief in that and that, that needs you've got all that yes you've got yeah, yeah. ready to We've go got some bits and pieces yeah very good and 
so just briefly you've got your phases of your yeah. so just like from phase one to how many phases six phases yeah so what phase seven, one seven. we're going to be so phase one will be a recap on the crossroads and the t-junctions yeah and then just a brief introduction you know today we're going to be doing roundabouts um and we're doing about five minutes on that yep yeah and then next we're gonna do the drive to the location yeah um, so we're going to go around the houses obviously we'll encounter the mini roundabout to get there but it's all mainly lefts and rights so that's practice and recapping on what we've done yeah um i think you go into the car park and the field for the briefing on roundabouts and we're going to do left i was going to do left and ahead i was going to leave right a briefing on right for now okay and just sort of focus on left and ahead on the roundabout yeah and then have it head out and practice that um so what i was going to do from the car park was then uh turn right out of the car park up to the top of the, t the road there and turn right again and that should bring me to a, a little roundabout which we can turn left on onto the, towards the NDR and then left again so there's two lefts a straight over and then another left which should then bring me down towards the garden centre of Taverham so obviously yeah. we've got a couple of chances a couple of lefts and a straight over and then I was going to come into the garden centre and I've, I've put in here briefing on turning right and practice sort of in one because I don't want to do it a big brief and I want it all to just be sort of questions and answers because we've been out there we've we've done a few roundabouts so it's just now covering the details on the extra bit of turning right yeah and then getting back out there and practicing that as well okay um, so we're doing 10 minutes practice on heads and lefts well I think I'll take about 10 minutes yeah. to get round there and then we're going to do a bit of turning right sort of, yeah I'll put 15 like minutes yeah I'll that. put sort of 20 minutes in there so a bit of a brief and so that's good so it looks like out. a nice little drive in so just like on the plan, I know reality yeah. could be different, but driving might be 5, 10, plus the 15, so 30, 35 minutes driving in this, with Hopefully time so. set aside for briefings and debriefings yeah. and review at the end. And then we've got, so I'll put sort of review and drive back there together, just obviously it's sort of see how we go with timings and that as well, so you know, yeah. it might not be exactly five minutes for the intro. And yeah, your idea is 40 minute drive time. Right, I mean, really, yeah, like this as a sort of minimum, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because they are they're kind of like the exam, will, you know, if there's too much talking about, yeah, them, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, not about good value for money for the old people and that because they're here to drive, skills, they? yeah, of course. So, um, so yeah, so it, it looks on paper there that, that the, the sections, the timings are about right, and of course, you know, you've not never run this before, it's no. the first time you've run this, you've put your plan together on paper, now you're gonna have a go at me. And it's your first one, so just um, just try and relax. The camera sort of makes you feel like oh, as if as if there was someone um, yeah it, it watching you. Don't be so bad if I can, didn't watched. see myself every time I looked forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> well. When you look in the mirror, you might see him a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So um. <laughs> but yeah, hope yeah you'll kind of get used to that. After a while, yeah. you're just thinking, all right, do you know what, you're just in it now. So, and we're going to start from here and finish here. That's the plan. Have that? Right. So, should we just pretend this is where you normally pick me up? This yep. where I live. Yep. And you've backed in here. Yep. And you've got out and you've, um, yeah, you'd have put your seat back, wouldn't you? And so I haven't done my cockpit drill or anything like that. And I'm one of your like top people, so I want to be like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cop it, Joe. D triple S M. Like, <laughs> just like do it. Yeah, I'm one of yeah. your your top peoples. And um, yeah, right. So yeah. So um, well, what's let's make a note. Oh look, bang on half past. Half past. So um, yeah, have us back here. Or try to. For your test, it's like no. <laughs> yeah, have it all yeah. done by now. Yeah. It's first mock test. Don't you know, just see how you go, you know. Let's see where we end up back here. And um you know, if you run over ten minutes late, I won't be like saying oh Okay. Well we're we'll comment that it's over oh, ten minutes over yeah, you need yeah. to shave that time off. Yeah. Um if dur uh, during the roll the role let's you now I should just sort of have some role rules about the role play. So I will stay in roll throughout okay. to sort of get it as real as we can. Um, if I need to come out of roll, that will only be for safety purposes or if times 
over running. So if you're going well over and you're about to start teaching me a whole other thing, I'll be like, am we supposed to be back? Yeah. I thought yeah. I, I've got to be back for college or I'll say yeah, something yeah, like that. It, yeah. So I know I can kind of do that in role, can't I? So I can give you a little steer on that in role as your pupil to make sure that I try and get you back. But it's not really my job, is it? The pupil, no. It's not the pupil's job to get you back on time. So if I think you're going off on a tangent, I'll give you a little nudge, sort of, so to speak, um, in the role. Um, but if you instruct me to do something illegal, then I might just say, no, I'll we'll have to come out of the role. I can't, I yeah. can't do that. You're, what you're telling me is not, mm. in, not if, if yeah, that yeah, was yeah. to happen. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, so that that's how we do the role play. So I just stay in until we're until we're back. So otherwise, I'll just be led totally by by yourself. Yeah. All right. Okay. And so yeah, so it starts whenever you're ready. I've just got in. Just whenever you're good to go. Okay. Um. Morning, Howard. You all right. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good. Feeling good. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to my lesson. Lovely. Good. So last couple of lessons, then we've been doing crossroads and T junctions. Yeah. How have you been feeling about them? Yeah, good. Yeah, nice yeah, and confident with them. Right with them. Yeah, yeah, it was just, yeah, I've been doing all that. Yeah, 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 really, really good, really good, progressing nicely. Um, we're now beginning to bring in the observations, so we're, we're not stopping on every junction, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're progressing yeah. forwards as well. Um, so today's lesson is we're going to introduce roundabouts today. Oh, well, brilliant. Okay, yeah. so it's really stepping that up a gear now. Um, there'll be obviously a bit more traffic to deal with as well. All right, yeah. Um, so, so that's that's what we're going to be dealing with today. Okay. Yeah. Um, just quickly, whilst we sit here, is there any sort of skills that we've learnt perhaps back with our T junction, our crossroads, off the top of your head now that you think is transferable that we can bring to our roundabouts and well, we'll be able to use it around? Will we use the system, the routine that we've been using, like yeah. the MS PSL? Exactly. Thing? Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. And a roundabout. Do you think a roundabout's a junction? Yeah. Yeah, it is a junction, okay? It's a junction that's designed to improve traffic flow, keep the flow of traffic. A bit like so, a crossroads. Yeah, really, a bit like, like a crossroads, with a, yeah. With an island. With, with an island in the middle, exactly. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today. So All right, yeah. You're feeling confident and happy about tackling that? Yeah, yeah, I'm up for it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Roundabouts always been like, oh, God, will I be all right, you know, because they're kind of busy, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But we'll, we'll deal with that. We'll take it nice yeah. and slow down. We'll deal with that. All so right, what we'll yeah. do in a second then is we'll head away from your house um, and we'll find a nice little area where we can sit and talk about roundabouts. It's a bit closer to where we want to be. Okay. Um, so we'll do a little bit of a drive now, a couple of minutes. That will involve some lefts and some rights. And there's actually a little mini roundabout interviewed by the shops that we've driven around a couple of times. We've, we've oh, yeah, turned... on the estate. That's it, on the estate there, yeah. Oh, yeah, we go... Yeah, we were with I've been ahead right. That's there. it, yeah. Because we do yeah. our T junctions, so we were That's it, one yeah. One of my yeah. first few well the first sort of three or four lessons were around there, getting the perfect the easy sort of T junctions. Yeah. And what's it important with the white paint in the middle? What what must we do with the white paint in the middle? Don't do what everyone else does and go they go well, some <laughs> of them go the wrong side. Yeah, they? some people cut it, yeah. you know, bad drivers cut it, go over the top. But, I was out you know, walking my dog near it, because it's where I'd take my dog for a walk. And yeah, the amount of cars that just go the wrong side, like, like, if you took a hundred cars, I'd probably say ninety nine go either on top or the wrong side. I've very rarely seen anyone do what we do, go round it. But are they are they doing that correctly if they go on the wrong side or? Over well, no, you there? said you you've got to go around it. You exactly, know, so it could be an offence, isn't it, if you go over the top? Exactly. The okay, so side. we're not going to be one of them drivers today. We're going to be no. You know, spot on, Round tip top it. driver. Yeah, yeah, lovely. So that's that's what we'll do. So we'll we'll practice as well. Obviously, the T junctions and things on the move, and get ourselves out over to the car park where where we can talk about roundabouts. All right. Oh, well, we're going to go somewhere then. To talk about yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. All, all right. right. So yeah. if you're happy, get, get yourself. You do your cockpit drill. Get yourself all set up, nice and comfortable. little dog yeah um, so I've done that and I have to go do my mirrors turn that on yeah 
Happy? I think so, yeah. I've done everything. Yeah, I'm happy. We're all set. Cool. When you're ready. Oh, then. yeah, sorry. <laughs> you want me to go? Sorry. <laughs> I thought he was inspecting my cup. No, field. sorry, I no. Was, wait. I'm feeling rather proud of my <laughs> my, um, my my cup of there. Right, so yeah, so I'm gonna get going. Yep. <clears throat> I like cat don't run out. Yep. Let's just do some checks as well. Lovely. I know we're on the drive, but we never know. Lovely. So we'll turn left at the end of your close here, and at the end of the road, we'll turn left again. Nice sunny day today. Yeah. May have to think about that when we get out there today because we might have the sun might be quite low, quite bright. So you might have to use the sun oh, yeah, visor as well. Yeah. yeah, we've done yeah. that before, aren't we? Yeah. So if we turn left at the end of the road for me, then please. That's clear. Lovely. And we'll turn left here as well. Slowing down for the car there. Um, was the indicator necessary? Oh no, you said no, I don't need to do that. Then. Okay, well, if we want to turn right at the mini roundabout then. Oh, right. So we have got a car behind, he's also turning right, so he should be following us. So there go the, yep. there go the, the other side, they might take me right, they? <laughs> That's good, yeah. He, he, he so you went round the roundabout, he cut straight across the top of it again. Yeah. That's a good way. Uh, if, if there's a cyclist or something, we, you know, the giveaway marks are on the road, so yes, oh, yeah, yes we would have to. So it was all about road markings and signs there. When I wait there with my dog, people um, people often don't. I'm, still, I'm sure there's giveaway mm. signs and lines there. They just go through, some of them anyway. So this time, we don't need the indicator to go past the car, so we can just check oh, yeah, our, right, yeah. our centre right mirror, and if it's safe to progress, we'll progress on past. I think I'd get that from my mum, you know. If we'd put an indicator on there, and someone was approaching this junction here on our right, what could we, what message could we be telling the person approaching oh, that junction? I going in that road. Aren't they? Yeah, so that, you know, you run the risk of them nipping out in front of you. Oh yeah. So it's really, it's an unnecessary hazard we're putting in there. The end of the road, then, if we can turn right, Good position in there, and then we just had to creep back a little bit further forward so they've parked right on the corner there. Yeah, I can see up the road in there. Yeah, and obviously, we've now got the glare of the sun as well. So, we're going to be taking the next left, which is just over the brow of this hill. Oh, yeah, we've just, done this one. Yeah, yeah, this you know where we you are. My first three lessons have been right That's it. It's the one you can't see. It comes up quite quickly, doesn't it, over the brow here? a bit quick when I started. <laughs> like that. Yeah. That's alright then. Not good. And then we're going to be turning right into the car park oh, here. Alright, in long now. Is that what, that's what the car park's called? Your local knowledge is obviously a bit better than mine. Yeah, this is the, this way you play football. Well, all right. or walk the dog. And then if you want to pick a bay what we can just drive into, perhaps in the middle here, um, ideally so the sun's not in directly towards us. Oh, good thing. Should I go 
Oh, should I stick it in where that sign is? Yeah, yeah, that sounds sounds a good plan, yeah. We're done with the first part. Uh, should I try one? Yeah, go for it then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You might as well. Do you mind? No, no, definitely not. We give it a practice. So I come up here. Have you been practicing your reverse park since we've done? She scrubbed that. No, I haven't had any practice for a while. Forget that. Oh. <laughs> so just remember that's to go, that middle observation out the back window, all round observation. No, just remember what you tell because we're doing this. That's not that one. Happy? Yeah. Should we have Happy. a look? Very good. I'm in. Yep, we're in. Yeah, no, I use the lines. preference to give my... Well, good. Mm, lovely. Really, really good, in fact. Lovely. Cheers. Right then. Anything you just want to talk about on, on that little drive there? Anything sort of popping up that we need to speak, speak about, do you oh, think? You, well, you said about a signaling. Don't yep. do that. It's just, you don't need to do that. Yeah, we just create, we could create confusion, couldn't we? Okay, especially like that second where the white mini was and the junction we spoke about that, didn't we? So it just yeah. gets rid of that confusion, really. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think I get that from my mum, you know. From your mum? Yeah, she um, signals around car cars. So maybe, that's, um, maybe that's something you could mention to your mum then. Ask her why she why she feels she's doing it, and then make her aware of the junctions or the hazard that she may be creating as well. I'll give it a go. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, yeah. I might just like not bother. <laughs> okay. yeah. Right then. So roundabouts. Yeah. Have you been a passenger round a roundabout? Oh well, yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um. So looking at the picture, I've got a picture here of a roundabout. Is there anything sort of road marking wise uh, that links back to the T-junctions that we've been doing? Road what, mark. what, what road marking well, stuff we got? Giveaways. Giveaways, okay. So that's telling us then, do we need to stop on a roundabout? Do we do we have to stop? No. No. No, okay. just give way. We can give way at the point of the roundabout. Okay. Yeah. So what we'll talk about to start off with is turning left, we'll be coming out of the first exit, okay? Oh, left, yeah, all right, yeah. Okay. So we'll be coming this way. What routine can we transfer from the skills that we've already learnt? MSPSL? MSPSL, lovely, MSPSL. <clears throat> Good, okay. Now what may be a little bit more, um, or a new area for you is before on the T-junctions, we've just got one lane for ourselves, haven't we, when we approach the giveaway point. What you'll find on these roundabouts is the road on our side is now split into lanes, like so, okay? Some of these roundabouts, two, most of them, three lanes. All right, yeah. Okay. okay. And reading the road markings now, this is where we've got to pay attention to the road markings, there'll be white arrows in these lanes. Okay. Something very similar to that. I see. Okay. Yeah. So looking at that road mark in them, we're applying our MSPSL, aren't we? So yeah. we're going to be doing our mirrors. So if we're turning left, what two mirrors are we going to check? Centre and left. Centre left, good. Our signal, do we need one? Yeah. Exactly, we need one, don't we? Why do we need one, do you think? Well, because we're, yeah, we're going left. So. Yeah, we're going left. We need to let everyone know, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so we've done our mirrors, we've done our signal. Because yeah. we're going left and we've now got these lanes to choose from, we need to really think about the position of our vehicle. Okay, so out of them three lanes, what? Got to be left. It's got to be left, isn't it? Okay, so we're looking at our road markings and we can already see yeah. that the left and the centre lane go straight ahead. I thought that would, I I would have thought, wrongly obviously, um, that the left lane, I would have thought that would just been for left only. That middle one for a head and that for right. That would be more logical. Wouldn't it? Some roundabouts, yeah. some roundabouts, the left hand lane is left only, oh, right. and then the right hand lane can be straight ahead. All right, you've. Okay, yeah. General rule is obviously left left hand lane is left and straight ahead. All oh, right, okay. but it's really important to as we approach these roundabouts. This is where our observations are now coming in that we're looking at the signs and the road markings, so we know where what lane we we need to choose. I see, yeah. Okay, so we've we've already picked our lanes. So that's going to be our left-hand lane. Yeah. Now, what are we going to do if we need to stop at our giveaway point? What sort of position are we going to put the car in? Now, 
in our lane? Where would it be facing? Parking so if I if I well yeah, so would I be facing sort of square onto the roundabout like that, or would I put the car oh, slightly more to the left? No, you you follow the curb like when we do our T junction. Good. We go round. Yeah, we're going to follow the curb, the curb, aren't we? And we're going to sort of start to point towards that that exit, the junction I that we, see, we yeah. plan on taking. So with our okay. signal and our positioning, yeah, we're giving everyone plenty of time and to, to see what we, we plan on doing. So we've done our position there as well. Got it. Yeah. Okay. We need to think about our speed and our gear. We spoke built the G in, didn't we, with our T junctions for gears? Yeah. So this is where now our observations come into the roundabout. Okay, so what we'll find on our roundabout is you'll have multiple lanes come around these roundabouts. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Something like so. Like okay. That. And we now need to find a way of judging when it's safe for us to continue our progress out onto the roundabout, don't we, okay, with, with yeah. other traffic coming. So what we're going to do is I'll, we're going to imagine we're going to sort of divide the roundabout in sort of like pizza slices, if you like. Oh, but it's okay. going to be big pizza slices. So from the start here, we're going to do a line straight across to this junction, so our junction on our right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to bring a line down here, somewhere sort of between the junction that we're at. It's like a third. And, and a third, yeah. A third. There we go. Yep. Yeah, a third. And that zone there, if we can sort of call that the, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call it the danger zone. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. If there's a vehicle, let's say it's in this lane here. Yeah. Sorry, my hands in the way. That's right. In this lane here. Where would you expect that vehicle to be going? Down here. Okay. Would you take the risk of pulling out in front of that vehicle? Say yeah. he didn't have an indicator on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what? he's going to go down there. Well... He's in the lane. It looks like he's going to go down there, but he could continue round, couldn't he? Really? And if we've pulled out, if he's in the wrong lane, doesn't know where he's going, he hasn't got an indicator on, he's not looking, he's looking this way. Oh, wow. They're all signs that he may be in the wrong lane. So you can do that? You can turn... Well, no, so right he, he, he would be wrong there, wouldn't he? So we can't oh. just presume, just oh, because he looks like he's going to take this junk, this exit, the exit that we're coming in on, oh, okay. that he's going to take it, okay? All right. What he should be doing is he'd be over here, wouldn't he, in this lane, with an indicator on, looking to come round this way, okay? So both examples there, he's in that zone, isn't he? Oh, so right, yeah. it wouldn't be a good idea to pull out if he was there. Oh, okay. What about if we had a vehicle here? So he's now beginning to enter onto the roundabout, again, in this sector that we've made, this third. Well, that, he looks like he's going to go across. Good. So would we pull out in front of him? No. Why is that? No, because we've got to give way to the right. Already. Good, so we've got our give way signs and we've got to give way to the right, okay? So yeah. remembering that from our mini roundabout back so there. He's going to come across. He's going to come across, okay? Yeah. So again, we wouldn't want to pull out in front, in, into this zone with that car there, okay? Right. So imagine he's now progressed out onto the roundabout. He's come out onto this lane and he's at this point here. Yeah, so he's in front of me. He's in front of, front of him. Front of him. Yeah. yeah. Again, not safe to pull out. No. No. Nope. So he's a little bit further forwards. He's here. Yeah. And we're sat here. I'd follow him out then. I'd so we could go. be looking to the right. Good. We'd let him go. Okay, yeah. so we'd let him go. So we'd wait until we could see his, his rear of his car. So we'd wait until we see his number plate, really. Okay. Make sure we can see the rear here, rear of his car. He's passed our vehicle. Yeah. With nothing coming to the right on the roundabout, so we could then follow him out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just another example to think about. We've got a vehicle coming round in this middle lane. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. We'll put him there as well. So he's same sort of position as the last car we just spoke about. Yeah. Got no indicator on. But obviously that opens up the left-hand lane here for us. All oh, right, yeah, would, I see. Would you want to position your car in that position? Yeah. Where do you think... he's in the other lane, I could go... He's going to... Okay. So I can go... His, my lane's clear, isn't it? So I can just... Your go. lane is clear. What happens if he then cuts 
into your lane because he well, wants to take he that exit. Shouldn't cut my lane. No, he shouldn't cut your lane. But some drivers don't always pay attention to the lanes on roundabouts. Okay, especially if they don't know the area or they're not too sure. So what we really should do in this situation is just hold back right. until he's just that little bit further forwards. Again, so we can see the back of his car, so we follow him out onto the roundabout. Because then if he does decide to cut that lane, yeah, right. we're behind, okay. aren't we? Okay, we're not actually in his path All right, yeah. for cutting out onto the roundabout. I see. Okay. Yeah. So that sort of zone there, if anything's in that zone, we don't want to risk it, do Danger. we? Danger, okay? We don't want to risk so putting just ourselves wait. If anyone's in it, just stop. Just wait, yeah? Unless we can see, it's very obvious, like here, we've got the car, indicators on, the driver's looking this way. You're, you're pretty sure, aren't you, that they're going to be taking that exit. But again, well, I, know. I don't know how I am anymore. But again, we don't want to carry all that speed. It's all about loop, taking our speed off here and doing our observations nice and early. Okay. All right, so we're going to approach this giveaway line nice and slow. Get rid of all the speed, give ourselves lots of time to observe what's going in on, on, on the roundabout. All right. So that's sort of covering our turning lefts. Any questions on that? No? No. So what about going straight ahead then? So second exit, straight ahead on the roundabout. Um, well, I imagine I'd well, be in the left lane because it yep. says I can go ahead. Yep. And then go through. What, just straight across all the lanes on the roundabout? Well, no, just into the middle one. So what about the left-hand lane here then? Well, that. I suppose if you're going left, you'd stay in the left. If you're going ahead, I, I imagine you'd go through to the middle one. So if we look at our road markings, the left-hand lane goes left and straight ahead. We've also got three lanes on the on the roundabout, so we can actually see here now. Oh, you got uh, a photo of it. There we go. So we've got a photo of one of the roundabouts we will be doing. Nice. So let's let's imagine we're the green car here. Yeah. So you can see we've got a straight ahead and a left in our lane. We've yeah. got a straight ahead and a right. But there's three lanes in the roundabout. Yeah. So if we were to do what you, you, we've, you've just said, we're coming onto the roundabout, we're going to be going over here. Yeah. We take our first lane, but we're not going to go off left, we're going to cut straight across like yeah. so. Yeah, that seems What logical. are we going to be doing if we had a car on our right-hand side in the straight ahead lane? Well, then they go into that lane, the right lane. So what about the traffic in the right-hand lane wanting to turn right? Where are they going to go? Oh yeah, right, yeah, I see. Yeah, right. No, what, in the roundabout. Good, so this right. is these roundabouts that we go out oh, on, right, okay. they're free laid roundabouts. All right, so it's really important that we do stay to our lanes out on these roundabouts, ah, okay? I, oh, right. Because okay. if we cut that yeah. lane, we could cut someone up and then the knock-on effect on the roundabout, okay? Some Someone ends up in the roundabout. I get it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> so, it's good practice. We'll, we'll stay stick with the left-hand lane, but you will get people, because it's on a dual carriageway, as you can see, between these roundabouts, you will get people wanting to come up the middle lane up your right-hand side and do the overtake, okay? So as we come into the roundabout, what mirrors do we need to be checking as we come onto the roundabout then? As we come into it? Yeah, so we're um, travelling up. We're at this point here. Well, I reckon that one. Yeah. Because so, that'd be coming good. in, wouldn't they? Good, so we need to keep an eye on this right hand mirror as well now so we're keeping an eye on the traffic yeah. on our right hand side okay because okay. we're going straight ahead do we need a signal at this point here no no Even okay signal, exactly because oh, yeah. we're not coming trick. off are we oh yeah no trick question there. yeah okay. so we're going to continue around the roundabout in the left hand lane so we're we're, we're sort of in this position here now okay we'll go oh, a little okay. bit further up actually we'll be sort of here yeah in our left hand lane, keep them to our lane. This is our exit over here. Do we need a signal now? No. Not if we're going ahead. Okay, so what if there's a vehicle coming onto the roundabout there? Well, because I'm in the, that lane, hell no, surely. Um, but remember what we said earlier on oh. when we talk about taking the left and a car over here and we're not too sure what they're doing? Oh, right. oh, so what right, could yeah. we put on to tell that person, yep, oh, that's right. what well, we're going to so do? So we'd signal left? We'd signal left. We want to take oh, that exit, okay. don't we? Okay. Okay, oh. so we could put that indicator on like so at this point here. And that's telling everyone behind, but that's also telling people coming into the roundabout that we intend to take 
the exit. Okay. Okay. Right, yeah. Okay. Would we signal before we got past this first junction here? No. No. That'd be a bad idea. Okay, why is that? Well, they might think I'm going to go up here. Exactly. So if we had a car coming in this way, if we're signalling too soon, oh, they'd pull out in they'd front. Pull out in front. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah. we make All sure right. we're just past so that just exit. Just get past it and then signal. And Got signal. All right, because yeah. we're putting a signal on, what do we need to check before we put that signal on? Oh, the mirrors. Good. Okay, so again, now it's, it's, getting, it's getting lots of observations. We're checking our centre and right coming in, aren't we? We're going round yeah. the roundabout, keeping then an eye, left. and then centre and left, signal, yep. And then we'll keep in our lane, and when we get back out here again, yeah. on, onto the dual carriageway. Yeah. Oh, there's only one lane the other side, is there? Two lanes, I mean, the other side. So what, three going in and two coming out? Is that right? Yeah, so if we look at the picture here, look. So we've got three going in, oh, right. okay. but then two going out, okay? So when we aim Oh for, yeah, the people turning right wouldn't... Yeah, I get it. They wouldn't come in with Exactly. We'll, we'll deal with turning right in a little while. We'll, we'll talk about that in a little oh, while. Yeah. That makes um, sense. It makes sense. Seeing it from a... Yeah. From the, a helicopter view, it so, makes sense. So if we go back to imagine we're the green car... Yeah. We've come up onto the roundabout. So we go round yep. and up there. Good. When we come off here... My pins. I'll drive the new outlet. When we come off here with the two lanes, yeah. what lane... Are we going to go onto the new road? What one would we be taking if we we're in well, this lane here? Well, you said stay in your lane. Exactly. We want to stay in the left-hand lane, yeah. okay? Because then we leave the right-hand lane for the car that's decided to come round in the middle lane coming in. Yeah, around the roundabout. Come up there and the one's going Exactly. If we try and take that right-hand lane again, we're going to cut someone up. So it's, it's good practice yeah, to stay yeah. in that yeah, left-hand lane. Yeah, if I've seen it from above, makes makes it, yeah, makes it better. Okay. Right. Okay. So have you sort of got any questions then about turning left and going straight ahead at the roundabouts? No. No? Now I know it sounds silly, but this roundabout on the NDR, they're quite round. Okay. So you will find this can be quite a tight turn coming onto the roundabout to keep into our lane. Yeah? Okay. So it's really important on the, on the approach, we're getting that speed down and we stick to our lanes going around the roundabout. Alright. Now. When we go out and do this, what sort of um, instruction, what sort of help do you want from me? Um, do you want me help. to talk you through yeah, it? Help me. Yeah. So we'll, do you want me to talk you through it, what we're going to do on the first couple of rounds yeah, to yeah, see how exactly. we get on? Yeah, yeah that's yeah? good. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, obviously, do you want to sort of take responsibility for judging the gaps, a bit like what we were on open T junctions. So we've got an open T junction, we're looking up, up into the road, the new road. Do you want to have a bit of responsibility sort of looking into the roundabout and thinking what, if that's a safe gap? To go? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Okay, you can give that a go. Obviously, we're going to be getting our speed off coming into the roundabout. I'm here as well. Um, what we'll do is as we approach the roundabout, I'll ask you if it's safe and you can say yes or no. So whether you think you're going or not, whether you think it's safe to go. Okay. Um, if I don't agree with that decision, I'll tell you to brake, brake, slow down, you know, so oh, yeah, you bring can it to a stop. To stop yeah. that, so yeah. And if you're really not going to stop, obviously I've got a set of pedals down here as well, oh, yeah. so we can bring you to a stop. We're not going to get oh. ourselves into a, a dangerous situation on these roundabouts oh, yeah, today. Good. All right, yeah. All right. Okay. But we'll give that decision to you, that you can be looking across there as we're approaching them roundabouts and making that observation. All right, yeah. No, I reckon I'd be all right. Is this a gap I'll that I can go in? And then Just remembering, remembering our sort of third, our sort of danger zone that we spoke about. Yeah, no, if they're coming round, I'll... Exactly. I won't trust them. If you're not sure, if you're not sure what they're going to do, so they're in that danger zone, they haven't got indicators, anything like that, on what, right, what yeah. should we do as good practice? What should we do? Yeah. If you're not Stop. sure, would we just pull out? No. No, okay. But if we'll in be... doubt, don't go, you said. Exactly. All right, yeah. but we'll have have that. We'll get that speed off coming into the roundabout, so we right, can do yeah. that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Should we go give it a go? Yeah. Let's do it. Yep. Lovely. So when you're ready, we're going to turn right out of the car park. Okay, so you can see them there. Shall I let her go? Yeah, you, yeah, you can do. She's she's looked at us. Look, so let's see what she's going to do. She's going to keep walking. Look, sir. So. Good. So you see that lady coming with the pram there. Oh, more. 
That'd be hard in the summer, you wouldn't see them with all no. the leaves on the bush, would you? So it's really good that we approached that nice and slowly then, didn't we? Allow it for that. That's it. Let's see ya. Good. So if we turn right. turning right at the end of the road. Note the change of speed limit in the new road. So what would the speed limit be? Oh, 50. 50 in the new road, okay. Good. Look in the mirror, it's a centre left mirror. Yeah, good. We're going to put an indicator on and start to bring in the brakes. Braking, braking, so get the speed down. Brake, uh -huh. note the new speed limit now. So we're going from a 50 into a 40. Keep braking so we can start looking across to our right now. So we've got traffic coming from the right, so we, we need to be prepared to stop on this one. Right. So we're, look, we've got the indicator on the mini and the car behind, they're both coming this way. Oh, yeah. That's it, good. It's busy, isn't it? it is busy this morning, yeah. So when when do you, you tell me when you're going to go, when you think it's safe? After this one. Yeah, lovely. Good. So position yourself onto the new road. Centre right mirror. Cancel the indicator. Good. How was that? Alright, yeah, yeah. Good. It's quite busy. Isn't it? That is quite busy, yeah. So the next roundabout then, we're going to be turning left again. This one, as we come off, will be a dual carriageway, okay? So we will need just to progress forward with the speed as we come off. All right, so centre left mirror, put a signal on, left hand signal, lovely. We've got two lanes, we want to be in the left hand lane, start bringing them brakes. Very good, we can start looking across, okay, so we've got cars there. Oh. You said wait for their ones, didn't you? Okay, so into first, mm -hmm. no worries. So, if... so we've got a car coming around to the right, so after the Mercedes, do you think? The oh, the van. So see him there, he was in the right hand lane, he's cut across two lanes to come off with no indicator. So if we'd have pulled, pulled we, you know, we, we could have been potentially in, in, a, in a... Oh yeah, there's a car coming, he went. Yeah, he's gone off the road. So so some, sometimes we, we, we are, you know, we've got to judge it, okay? So we've got a nice gap coming, so let's get ready. So there's a BM. Where's he going? And he's turned, okay, so let's go. Oh, it's empty. Oh. Good, so take the exit, check our centre right mirror, and let's progress. So the cars come quite quickly, don't they, at you on that roundabout? Um, yeah. It's a hard way, it's a hard one. You've got to do the right thing for what you feel is safe, okay? Yeah. If it takes a little while to get out, it, okay, let's keep going. Sorry, I do apologise. Let's keep, keep in your lane, so keep focus on the road ahead. What is this speed limit? What's the speed limit on a dual carriage way, do you know? It's 70 along here. 70 okay, so we can pick the pace up. So let's go into fifth gear. What we really want to be doing is sort of aiming at 60 as a, as a minimum on here, because then we won't hold anybody up. We won't hold any sort of lorries up, things like that. But 70 is the limit on a dual carriageway. Right? 
Right. How do you feel about driving? Just relax, you know, relax. How do you feel about driving a bit quicker? Well, it's nice and wide, so it's, 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 right. it's quiet, isn't it? We can keep in our lane. It's just a bit quick, isn't it? That's okay, we're, we're yeah, absolutely fine, you know, there's no one around right now. You're, you're fine at this speed. We're doing, doing a good 60 mile an hour, it's absolutely fine. Now remember, so they're limits, so they're not targets, all right? So we've got the roundabout ahead. ahead. We're going to go straight ahead at this one, all right? So that'll be the second exit. So let's bring in some mirror checks, and let's have a look in our centre center mirror. So we can see we've got a car behind us, and we've got a car approaching on our right-hand side as well. Okay, we've got our countdown boards, so start to brake, it's off the gas. Brake. Good, so gently bring in them brakes, we've got to start taking that speed off. We're going to stay in the left-hand lane, but we're going straight ahead. All right, so keep braking. Look into the roundabout for me. Is there anything coming? Keep braking, keep braking. Good, bring in the brakes, bring in the brakes. Good, is it safe to go out? That's it. Okay, so we're still in fifth gear. What? We're still in fifth gear. Is that indicator on for me? Good, let's take the exit. Okay, so we come in there a bit quick. We come in a bit quick. Bit sort of on the brakes, it was a bit slow on the brakes, and we was in the wrong gear. But not to worry, not to worry, we'll get plenty of practice. Okay, so let's progress back on. We're going to take the next exit on this roundabout, so we're going to turn left on this roundabout. So it'll be the first exit. Okay, so we'll, we'll go again. We, so we've got a car behind us. So let's center left mirror. Yep, let's put a signal on. So our left hand signal, good, off the gas. Bring in the brakes. So nice and gently brake. Brake. Good. Going left, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be turning left on this one. So keep bringing the brakes in nice and gently. Good. Okay, so let's let's change down a gear. Brakes. On the brake again. On the brake. On the brake. Oh, you brakes, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're into first. Yeah. Good. When you're ready. Oh. So let's take, take the exit for me. <laughs> okay, uh, so the speed limit on here is 40. What we'll do is we'll, we'll nip into, we'll go into the car park up here. Oh. Just take a minute. Oh. Right, okay, yeah. In here. So the next, next entrance, just cancel that indicator. We'll go into the next entrance, a little bit further down, because this is the exit of the car park. Oh. So we're going to turn right here for me, please. Okay, if we pick a bay that we can drive into, so any of these bays here on the right-hand side we can drive into. Okay. Yep. So just be aware of this red car coming down here well, towards they're us. The so they're way, coming down yeah. the wrong way, aren't they? Yeah. So they're going against flow. So any of these bays here, if we pull into one of these forwards then we can get out again. It's nice and slowly into the bay. And bring the car to a stop. Good. Yeah. Hi. Okay, how did that feel? <laughs> <laughs> that was um just but yeah. yeah. Oh, they're a little bit okay so some uh, of them I don't know. there's a bit of a blur to be honest. Yeah yes. Okay, so, so we Quite some of them. To do. Yeah, there's a lot to do in a roundabout, isn't there? Okay, so yeah. we've got a lot of observations that we need to be doing. Um, we really need to come in nice and slow to these roundabouts as well, so we can get the speed off early. That gives us more time for our observations. All right. Yeah. As well. Okay. Okay. Um, obviously, we need to really work through that routine as well that we're talking about back here. So your mirrors and your signals on the approaching really good yeah and that first the first two roundabouts they were good as well with, with, with our turning left okay was it perhaps the speed the extra speed on the on it fell fast yeah. yeah was that what sort of threw you a little bit because we're coming into things a lot quicker things are approaching us a lot faster yeah i think so yeah it did feel yeah fast fast yeah, yeah. what we'll do then is we'll, we'll go back out again if you're happy to. Um, yeah. But this time on the approach to the roundabouts, we really need to get that speed off because yeah. then that'll give us time to look into into the roundabout. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then we must stay in our lanes as we come onto the roundabout. There's a couple of times there where we're running quite wide and we had cars up on our right up on our right as well. So it's really important that we stay oh, okay. in our lanes. We follow our lane through the roundabout. All right, yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah. Um, gonna have to turn right aren't we yeah what we'll do is we'll quickly talk about turning right on a roundabout okay because okay. we are gonna have to turn right at some point on a roundabout all right so we'll, we'll deal we'll deal with that so obviously on the approach to the roundabout then what lane are we gonna pick out the three lanes coming onto the approach the right one the right one you have to yeah so exactly the right are lane. we gonna signal yeah Yep. Good. So we'll come up with right hand signal on. We're going to go for the right hand lane. So we can see here on the aerial shot again. So we'll be in this lane here. Yeah. We're then going to stay in the right hand lane on the roundabout. So we're going to pass the first exit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. On, on our right hand lane, keeping that indicator on. Okay. We're going to pass the second exit okay. in the right hand lane yeah. with that indicator on. What mirror might it be a good idea just to keep an eye on as we're going around the roundabout? Just do a couple of checks in it as well, because what could be on our left hand side? Oh, the left mirror. Yeah, yeah okay. That's so how it we may have traffic. Well exactly, okay. So just a quick glance in the left hand mirror as we go around, just so we're aware of what's going on over our left and shoulder there. there yeah. And we're going to take this exit, okay? So when we get to this point here, yeah. we'll check our centre left mirror. We'll change our signal from our right to. So we're taking the exit, we'll be putting I'm on there. our. Yeah, so we'll put our left signal on. All right, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll work our way from this point here across to get into our left hand lane to take, oh, okay. to take yeah. the exit that we intend to take okay so it's really important as we come round that we're keeping an eye on the traffic in our left in our left mirror yeah and at this point here we can then start to let the car run out to take to line to get the lane that we want for the intended exit okay all yeah. right yeah okay you're happy with adding a right in there as well yeah. Yeah. How are you going? So what we'll do is we'll, if you're happy to, we'll go back out. Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll do a couple more roundabouts. Obviously, I'll I'll give you the instruction as well. Again, did you still want to judge the gaps or uh, to see when it's safe to progress out onto a roundabout? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll do that together. Okay. Or you know you, you can do that, <clears> and then we'll uh, nice and calm. Okay, nice and calm. All right. Yeah. What was that? What was that up there? Oh, no. oh. You said that was the way out, yeah. Alright. Where am I going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, because of the, the arrows on the floor here, then we, we, need, we need to go to the right, don't we? Okay, so that's, no. that's sort of my, my fault getting you on this side of the, the car park, please. We'll have to go round to the right, but we'll loop round and come back down this side and aim for the exit over there because we don't no, want to. Can I just drive through that? Well, we're going against the, the flow of the traffic here, wouldn't we? Do you want to just drive up there? Sorry. <laughs> but I turned it off. It's all right with that. Cut that a bit. <laughs> We don't want to obviously go up this this lane here because if someone's come towards us, remember that red car coming towards us when we come in. Yeah. You want me to head towards the exit? The heck that's there. Yeah. Do you want me to tell you what I think I would do? Go on I'd, then. I'd drive up up there. Well, across these bays. Yeah. Am I not Yeah. Oh, so I do that then. Yeah. <laughs> that's quite good, isn't it? And going all around the car park. Could have been lots of cars, we'd obviously had to go all the way around the car oh, yeah, park. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think. But yeah, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with what. Yes. <laughs> okay, so where am I going? So we're going to turn left out of the exit, okay? On this roundabout, we'll be turning right. Okay, so we're going to do the right turn we've just talked about. So we're approaching the roundabout, so let's get our mirror checks in. Good, let's put a signal on. Lovely. Okay, 
Okay, bring in the brakes, position ourselves in the right hand lane, keep bringing in the brakes. So we've got the white car coming round, that's it. We've also got the van now, so we're going to have to stop on this one. So into first, and now off we go. Good. So we're going to take to the right hand lane, that's it. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's good. We're going to stay in this lane, that's it. Just keep the speed as we are, that's good. Quick look check in this left hand mirror. Good, left hand, left hand signal and start to work away across. All the way across, okay. In this one? Ooh. Okay, we'll stay there then. No, that's fine, we'll stay right. there. So cancel the signal out for me. Mm -hmm. That's it, up into gear. Let's put a left hand signal on so we get back into that, that lane. That's good. Cancel the signal again for us. That's it, nice and relaxed, relaxed. How are we feeling? It was up coming up. I thought it was going to come round me. All oh, right. Okay, so we're going to go straight ahead at this roundabout then. Straight ahead. Okay, so we've got our boards. So we're going to stay in the left-hand lane. So centre left mirror. Good. Bring in the brakes. So off the gas. Bring in the brakes. So brake, brake, brake. Nice and gently. Brake. That's it. Gently. Brake. Brake. Good. Stay on the brakes. We can look across. Okay, so it's clear in the roundabout, isn't it? Into second gear. Okay, good. So stay in this lane. Stay in this lane. Okay. Centre left. No. Centre oh, left. Indicator. Oh, good. Oh, so we're going straight ahead. That's it. Well, that's confusing. Good. Cancel that indicator. Centre right mirror. Up into third. Good. Nice and relaxed. How are we feeling with the speed? <laughs> a little bit anxious. Okay. It's just all blue. It's yeah. all new. It's all... What? These faster roads as well. Let's put the car into fifth. That's good. Steering, look, let's, oh. just relax. Relax your arms. You look quite tense. Just, just relax. Yeah. Okay. So we've got another roundabout ahead. Then uh, ahead. Yeah. So we're now approaching another roundabout. What we'll do is we'll. Um, We'll go, go straight ahead at this roundabout as well, okay? So let's lift off the gas, check our mirrors. Good, oh, okay, we're braking quite heavy there, aren't we? And quite early as well, oh, okay? So, do you, too fast. No, so we can let the car just get a little bit closer. Yeah. You know, use the engine brake, that's what we're using now. Now we can bring in the brakes, start to bring in the brakes. So braking, braking, keep getting that speed off. Get that speed off, think about what gear we want. Speed off, speed off. Bring the car to a stop. Oh, no. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, sticking in this lane. Stay in this lane. Check our centre left mirror. In, oh, we've done that the wrong oh. way then, did we? <laughs> we snatched that indicator. Centre left. Okay, and cancel the indicator. And let's progress. Getting quite tense again. Yeah, they're a bit. Yeah, then blah. Them lanes. <laughs> so if we stay, yeah, you know, if we get the speed off, we stay in our lane. Do all that early. Yeah, the speed camera vans there. Oh, That's a, no, you're not speeding. So this is 70 on here, isn't it? All oh, right, yeah, 70. I'm only doing 50. So the other traffic is, is doing food. We're not really holding anybody up. You know, the right-hand lane is clear, so people could, if they wanted to come by, they could come by. Yeah, good. Do you think we could get, go for fifth gear, perhaps? Oh, yeah. You can hear the car, you know, you hear it's quite some high revs there, that's it. Why would we do that? 
Okay, yep. Yeah. It's a good observation then, so watch, watching the cars coming in. We should, perhaps we could have had an indicator there, so make sure we're past that car, it will indicate to let them know we're coming in. Just flash the indicator. Yeah, you can go out in the right-hand lane. You've done the right thing. So obviously, we moved over, allowed the traffic to come on. I just say, you know, like when I'm with my mum and dad, she moves over. You did move over. Really important, though, to remember the mirror checks and the signal as well. Um, oh. You know, because we just moved, didn't we? Yeah, I just saw that silver car yeah. coming down. I thought about it. Yeah, it's fine. So at the roundabout here, then, what I'd like you to do is we're going to go all the way round it, okay, so we come back the way we're coming from. So that'll be the right-hand lane. Right. So we've got the lorry behind. So let's get it, uh, check our centre right mirror. Yeah. Anything there? If it's safe, let's put a right hand indicator on and get behind in the right hand lane. Yep. Off the gas, bring in the brakes. So braking. Off the gas, bring in the brakes. Brake, brake, brake. Good. In deferred, keep it on the brakes, on the brakes. On the brakes. Okay, so we, that's it. No, uh, you're fine, you're fine. Off the gas, off the gas, off the gas. Nice and slow, nice and slow. So staying in this lane, that's good. Nice and slow. Stay in this lane. We're going to keep going all the way around. Okay. That's it. Stay in this lane, that's good. Keep staying in this lane. Good. Okay, we're going to check our left mirror, change our signal to our left hand signal, and we're going to move across and take the left hand lane. Good. Good. Good, that's it. Really good. Centre right mirror, cancel your signal. And start to progress so we can change up through the gears again now. So let's go for fourth. So coming off, that was really good. Okay. Coming into the roundabouts, when you're going to change change gear, we're coming yeah. off the brake. Oh. We can keep the brake, dip the clutch, and get ready for the gear. Oh, okay. Okay, we don't need to release that brake. That's why we're suddenly lurching into the roundabouts. Oh, okay. Okay. So we'll stay on here again for a minute. So you've got a fairly straight bit of road again. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. They're up there. Are you feeling a bit more relaxed with the, the extra speed involved out on, on these roads? A little bit. I feel better now. There's another land. I feel like a good company now. <laughs> Stick with them. <laughs> oh, there's a van. So, why are they so close behind me? So he's going to be taking this exit, no, okay? Here. Okay, so if we're going to commit to this, we've got we've got oh, the power. Because you're going to hold someone up now, so let's start to progress with the car. So remember, the speed limit's 70 along here. So we're past the learner. So centre left mirror. If it's safe, indicator, indicator. Cancel the indicator. So really important the observations here. So we can see there's traffic coming, but there's nothing here. So it's our left foot. Now we're good. We can stay where we are. Just keep holding your speed. You're absolutely fine where you are. So keep it 60. That's fine. Good. We didn't need to go right, out there. Exactly. Now don't break. You're fine. The speed limit out here is oh, 70. Okay, so we're fine okay, at 60. Right. We're doing just fine. Good. We're doing just fine. Okay. Uh, so the next roundabout, we're going to go straight ahead. All right. So we've got the lorry, he's a little way back. We haven't got anything in the right hand lane at the minute. So let's come off the gas, off the gas, onto the brake pedal. So it's gently on the brakes, gently on the brakes. Good, good. Stay on the brakes. Let's go, let's select the gear. So we're going to come out of fifth. Stay on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes, into third. Good, let's look into our roundabout. Is it safe? Yeah. Yep, okay, and stay in our left hand lane. Left hand lane, good. So don't need to don't we don't need too much gas in the roundabout. And we didn't put a signal on or indicator there, did we? Okay. It's supposed to put a left one on, yeah. Yeah, we will have a left one on so we let people know we're we're coming off there. Um nice and steady around these roundabouts, yeah, nice and smooth with the controls. Yeah. 
we are. So so I, I, I am lost a little bit, yeah. Next roundabout. Turn left, yeah. So your local knowledge is uh, handy there. And that'll be where we come on to it. Right, okay. So we can go through the estate. Yeah. Okay. So the next roundabout then, we're going to turn left on this one. Alright, okay. yeah. So we've got a car coming up behind. That's it. So the centre left mirror. Good, let's put an indicator on so they know that we're going to be going left. Off the gas, bring in the brakes, it's the brakes, it's braking, brakes. Okay, we're getting our speed down, a little bit more on the brakes, a little bit more, good. I mean, you think about gear, bring in the brakes a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Bad? Yeah, off the brakes, it's safe, good. And I'll keep coming around to the left. Yeah, that's bad. Good. That felt bad. So we've got that speed off, yeah? Check our centre right mirror cancer indicator, good. So it's really important to get that speed off to give ourselves that bit more time next right. during the roundabout. So we're going to take the next right. Uh, so it's just after the, the third telegraph pole here on our right hand side. Yeah, yeah. I'll practice that reverse into a bay again. Off. All right, yeah. Okay. How did that feel then? A little bit of dust, yeah, roundabouts. Because yeah. I've not really done them, have I? I haven't done them. No. That was a bit. Yeah, that was a bit of a step up from um, the T junctions and stuff. Yeah, that was a bit busier. Yeah, very. Okay. Things yeah, come at you a bit faster roads as well. Yeah. So things are coming at you a little bit bit quicker as well, aren't they? Um, yeah, but towards the end, that last round, right? We got the speed off. Yeah, did you brake for me then? I did bring the brakes in oh, just okay. just a little bit. I thought it was slowing down by itself. <laughs> yeah. So getting that speed off gives us the time. Okay. 
to make the observations to get the gear in that we're going to want okay. and it also gives us the time to stop if we need to stop oh okay well, yeah so really get that speed so it's quite off. a lot to do isn't it it is yes so it's, it's getting that speed off and that also yeah. getting the speed off makes it a lot easier for you the steering to keep in our lanes so a lot of the time we drift when we're drifting out of our lanes we're just going in too fast it's too much speed oh, oh right okay. we're, we're sort of drifting so if we really get that speed off it gives you a lot more time to to get your gear to get your steering in and then we can keep on the lane to do your mirror checks as we go around the roundabout oh, yeah, okay. so that's definitely something we, we can improve on for next time is just getting that speed off. Okay, yeah. But there's, def there's definitely lots of good bits out there as well, you know, approaching the roundabout, so we're getting our, our, our mirror checks in, so he's okay. aware of what's going on. We're signalling, which is all really, really good stuff to see. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, okay. Right. I've got to go soon. Yeah. Um, I've got to get to college. So, um, what is, we're, yeah, do it again next week then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm out of roll? Yeah. Unless you had anything else no, to add, no, yeah. Okay, no. right, yeah. Okay, out of roll then. Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, do you? No. So, um, okay, so I struggled a bit on the faster moving roads, yeah. didn't I? Yeah. So, it, yeah, so in, if you were taking me on. Now, I know you discussed roundabouts where the roundabout's near here. Yeah. Okay. And that is still a viable option. But there's kind of the other thing to talk about, isn't it? We're going onto those yeah, faster yeah. moving roads. Am I capable of it? Well, I, I did all right. I mean, I was all right. It's just my speed and approach to yeah, roundabouts. Yeah. That really is yeah, the thing. Off. And you've identified, you've said that. you said that. That is what's the problem, isn't it? So I just needed more help with getting that speed off. And at the end there, you did. But you are braking for me. Yeah. And um, and so I need to know that that's what's happening, that you're doing that. Okay. So, because um, what I'm, st you, you have identified it, as I'm, I'm braking, then when I go for the gear change, I'm coming off the brake, going into the gear, and then we, we overshoot, and yeah, we were yeah, yeah. going in then I can't steer enough, so yeah. I'm going wide. Um, so once that problem, let's say it has, has just happened the first time, like, whoa, we pull me up, we get me off, and we we identify that as the fault. And say, right, this is what's happening. As you're coming in, you're you're releasing the brake when you go, you're, so you're braking, then you come off the brake for the gear, and by that time, you know, on the picture, we're drifting out, so we're coming in fast, and then you can't steer, so your approach speed is affecting your position. Which is dangerous because what's the consequence if we do that? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah. So if we get the speed off, hold the brake, get the gear in on approach, then we can deal with that roundabout. Yeah. And stay in our lane. I'll be like, all right, yeah, okay. That sounds like a plan. So now let's go do that, and I'll help you. So I'll tell you to brake. So I'll get on. You get on the brakes. Um, and then you're going to keep braking, your clutch go down, select the gear, get the clutch up, off the brakes, then you go in. If you go in there too fast, I'll go yeah. on them brakes. I'll tell you I've done it, Yeah. but I'll be on them brakes, because we just can't go in there too fast. Because what's the problem, if you go in there fast, how much time is that leaving you to judge the roundabout or not? not. So yeah, so if, do you, would you like more time for that? Yes, please. Well, let's go slower then. Oh, okay, so that's the answer. If we go slower, so now we're getting into like identified the an analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blah, 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 right. Okay, yes, yeah, so slower. Um, you agree level of instruction to help me do it. Yeah. And then we get, we've get we got a fighting chance now. Yeah. Going yeah. in and, and doing it. And I'll be like, right, okay, got it. Um, and a few goes of those. So if, let's just think about you know the route. So we went out, didn't we? The first one we, the first roundabout we come to, was the busy one, and I had to stop. Yeah. And that yeah, was yeah. like that wasn't a big multi-lane one. That was no. just a nice little yeah. area. Maybe to repeat that one. In well, we'll have a look at that in a minute. What we could do, how we could adapt that lesson plan. Because 
we that roundabout at first was quite a good one to use. Maybe if we got a circuit going between that and a loop, right? And using that one more, yeah, would be a nice intro to it rather than big three laners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Um, I agree. So yeah, so anyway, so. We did that, I stopped. So my speed was fine. That was more like my T-junks. That was like, oh, but we could have talked about blockers in the briefing or on that because I was missing chances to go. Yeah. So we could have, I could have got going then. Um, but because we never get back to that, I never, we never get to fix that problem. So I think, you know, this would have been a good little opportunity. We've got a busy one. Parking mode enabled. And we're not talking about do you know what I mean when I yeah, say yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had opportunities to go. So yeah. I was hesitating. Yeah. When I was sat there, could have gone. Yeah. Feel behind, thinking, God, who's yeah. he going to go? Like all these cars are blocking. So there was a queue to the right, weren't they? And loads of cars coming ahead. And then yeah, a couple come round, and then some more went ahead. And yeah, yeah, there was yeah. an opportunity yeah. Yeah. to talk about blockers. Anyway, then we went to the next one, onto the big NDR, the multi lane one. And I'm going left, and that's a massive one, isn't it? It's like it's a huge roundabout. Yeah. And so I'm thinking of my third, and I'm looking at it, and anyone that got in it, well, oh, no, I'm not going to go, not going to go. And you're probably thinking, I don't know, what are you thinking? Probably could have gone there. Probably could have gone there. And again, blockers, because they, their position, they're all going off, and I'm waiting. Yeah. They're all going that way. And um. And I'm like not going because I'm thinking of your pitch I'm thinking that's got to be clear and I've got to be like have that third clear before I go mm. so again I'm thinking oh the opportunity to understand their positioning and blockers on the roundabout to get me in so I'm not so hesitant mm -hmm. so, there, so there's, there's a thing there there's a need isn't there there's yeah, a, that yeah. people yeah. And there's a you know think about how much you got to learn on a roundabout. I've only got an we only got an hour. Yeah. So it's like what how where you know what bits do you want to do? You don't have to buy it off the whole cake, so to no. speak. You can just say, do you know what? Bit of an opportunity here. Let's go and do that again. Let's do that bit again. Mm. Getting back there. Could you know? You could have just gone around these little roundabouts here. Then is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I I, I think we'll, it would have been good to have another look at that that yeah. first one to get me back in here, to talk about it, and say, right, I'll go back to that one because oh yeah, because I hesitate and I was, let's go back. Let's do it yeah, again. yeah, yeah. No, so I see what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It kind of like the root was the root was growing like a monster, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like, and and I wasn't really keeping up with it. No. And I, we, I, we could have just a bit like if I was a little kiddie learning to swim in the shallow ends, you know, that's what I needed. But I was being moved up quite like, oh, I'm going in the deep end now. Like, oh, I don't know about this. I'm, I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely agree it. with that. Yeah. No, so I could have been. It could have been like, oh, just don't like, don't know. Well, there we go. We've got enough here. I'm just going to do that one again. Hmm. Yeah. So we've probably gone back left on the second that brought me back along here then wouldn't it yeah so we're just adapting the lesson yeah. plan because it's like kind of like a like imagine like an intro exercise you know you've got something come in if we can just get that sorted and done before we move on to next yeah, yeah, like yeah. rather than us yeah. have loads of stuff put in our intro like we've got to do this we've got to do that and now these this like say like a monster it's like growing now it's like oh god yeah. i don't know where to start like we could just think, do you know what? I've just seen something there. That's enough. Let's let's just do that bit. Let's get mm. that sorted. And so go more at my pace. Yeah. And I was kind of like being taken along on this trip, and it was a bit. Yeah, yeah, no, there was. Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. There's... So you, yeah, so that that's the key thing. You could just adapt that lesson plan. Yeah. To do that. So anyway, so we did that roundabout, and we went left onto the onto the NDR and so again I was hesitant and things and then so now I'm on a faster moving road I drifted off the road didn't we so we could maybe talk about that there's a fault why did I do that yeah um, 
how could we fix that? Do I need some way of judging it? Yeah, what was what was the reason I drifted off the road there? I just want to explore that. Because it's quite like you had to intervene, didn't you? Mm. So because you've intervened, you think, oh, like, I, th I think at the time you apologised if it was your fault. So it's, well, we, we were talking, you were sort of looking at me, and then we came across, so I, I sort of felt responsible for that. Okay, well, I, I'm the one who's gone off the road, so we need yeah. to understand like, what you know what happened there. Yeah. All right, how get your eyes on the road, concentrate on that. Um, and that that could have been that that was worthy of that you know safety critical incident. I've just gone off. You've had to intervene. Yeah. Like, yeah. Whoa, hang on a minute. Just down, just get him off. Talk about go and do that bit again. Yeah. So you kind of had enough there to think, you know what? So we can adapt to that. We can now, yeah, just give him what he needs because mm. he's shown me enough. Um, and so then, so we've already talked about my main fault on the roundabouts. That extra speed. I'm just yeah. You've identified the fault that I'm coming off the brakes, gear changing, and I'm like, oh, I'm too fast, and I'm out of lane, and I'm like, oh my God. And I can't really make any decisions. It's lucky we didn't pull out in front of someone, you know, because mm. I'm, at that point, I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> wow, what I mean. Um, so that would have been the, the next big thing to sort out. But, like I say, how many big things do you want to sort yeah, out yeah, once yeah. you just want to, like, manage it? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Managing risk. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, because we the route the route just grew, then we're on the dual carriageway, and I've got e exit and entry slips, and then I'm unpredictable, aren't I? I just yeah. move out. Yeah. Whoa. And so, understanding that this is the f people's first time, I need a lot more control there. Just saying, right, what we're going to do? We're going to stand this lane. We've got an exit slip off, entry slip coming on. Howard, I'm going to help you with this, but we've not done this before. I want you to stay in this lane, okay? Yeah. We're going to check centre mirror, right mirror, because they're right. There might be a need to move out, but I only do so if I say so. You take because we're not doing yeah. that. Yeah, that's now become another lesson, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah. a lot of it's down down to root, isn't it? Yeah. So it's I like we're getting out because I've got to play the role of someone who's not done that yeah. before. And I'm like, I'm, yeah, out no, a bit yeah, out, yeah. I'm out of my depth yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh. And then I deal with the learner getting it out, I'm out. Yeah. I was like, whoa. So more control because I'm literally, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Surviving. No, I'm not learning at that point. No, no, no. I'm like hanging on. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel. It's real and all. <laughs> so, um, so that, so that sort of, you know, route, and we can. So, but that's that's well. Now we've done it, we can look at it, and we can just repiece that and think, right, change it. Because that's what it is: is tweaking. Yeah, it yeah. And adapting. To Obviously, your people. I, ideally, I suppose uh, that because it's of what it is, it's on the dual carriage. It's not the the best place to 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 do roundabout lessons, is it? Obviously, of course, it's not. Because you, you're introducing like two, three lessons into one topic there, aren't you? Because of the nature of the road. Yeah, we could look at some simpler roundabouts. So let, let's go and do that. We're, we're spend the rest of the, we're spend some yeah. time now looking at how we could still do this subject in this area and what we could do. Yeah. Because it is, you know, I've got, a, I play the character of like roundabout, it's new to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I haven't been on dual carriageways. So I'm a bit, now you did ask me before, could we do that? I'm thinking, yeah, you could if you if it's controlled. You know, if you run me between two, oh, yeah, I didn't know the route of this. No, no, no. I thought, well, fair enough. There's a roundabout. I've done it with learners, got them onto the roundabouts there, and gone well. But it needed help because yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I was, I was actually thinking of a pupil that I had recent, yeah, fairly recently. Well, that's why they needed help, just sort of getting the brake and gear sorted to get their speed right. Once their speed was right, no, we're doing that. Yeah, after we went, we, we sandwiched between two roundabouts up and down. And, um, cause I, I identified this speed thing. Oh, I see, I said, let's, we're gonna do that again, do it, up and down and up and down. And then she got it. I said, right, so now we're gonna get all that speed off, get the gear in, get the clutch up, da -da -da, lovely. And then she's got all this time and she's like, oh yeah, now I can do that. Inner lane, lovely. 
coming off. Brilliant, that's much better. So let's go and do it again. Do it again. Did it a few times. And um and I'm like, yeah, that's good. Now let now we can do the speed thing. Now let's move on to more adventurous things. Yeah. Now we can just get the approach right. Mm. Yeah, that's what I just needed there, that approach. I needed a bit of understanding on blockers and not hesitating. Um, some help on that would have been good today. Um, and just managing that, just keeping it confined yeah, to that, rather yeah. than introduce more stuff like the slip roads aren't overtaking and like, oh my God, you know. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit off too too much for your people. Yeah, no, no. People was like, no, just a bit overwhelmed, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I feel like when we was out there, I, I didn't feel good at all, to be honest. I didn't feel good at all. First two weren't too bad. So it's, <laughs> it's, good, it's good you have that experience with me, with because now yeah, we can yeah, yeah. Sort, it, sort it out before you go out with your learners and what you can do and how you can just bring it back in to, to have control. Yeah, 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 you want control, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. You're in charge of safety. You want to keep them safe, everyone else safe. Um, yeah, because I did affect the car today, didn't I? I put my hand up. Really, yeah, you should be doing yeah, that. Yeah. So take more control there. Okay. Be aware of that car and get yeah. me in the lane, you know, just so like, I'm going to put you in that lane. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just out my depth at this point, yeah, aren't I? Yeah. Um, so now I'm affecting cars and um, they're probably thinking, bloody hell, what are they doing on here? They ain't ready for this. Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. But we'll control our kid, babe. Mm. And that's what we'll do now. Yeah. Ready, eh? All right.